This video is also directed towards most of the developers who would want to constantly keep the CRM or in-house ERP updated basis different events happening at double tick. So how to use our async webhook calls on different events is what we are going to cover in this video. So you or the developer who is watching this video would be able to understand how to use the different events that we offer in double tick by first of all going on to the left hand side panel settings and navigating towards webhooks. Here we are going to create a new webhook event and we are going to select the webhook events for which we want to hit an endpoint URL. Now in this particular case since the webhook URL is going to be that from your system in order to show you and to test you can go on to a free webhook testing site like webhook.site and you can select one particular unique webhook URL. You can go ahead on double tick and treat this as the webhook endpoint URL. Please note these webhook calls are asynchronous in nature. Once you put the endpoint URL and you select the events on which this webhook would get triggered. For example, whenever a chat gets assigned or unassigned, we want to trigger the webhook. We will select it and save. Now, let's come on to the home section and test it out. So far, we can see this webhook has not got triggered because we are waiting for the first request. So let's do our first request. We'll go to a chat. We are going to unassign this chat. According to what we did in settings under the webhook event, the webhook should be triggered by now. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, this webhook has got triggered with the data. Now this is how you can also see the webhook sample data and use it. Similarly, you can in the settings section add multiple webhooks on different different events, right? For example, whenever a message is being received on double tick, whenever there is a status update change on double tick from read to unread or closed conversation statuses as we have covered in a different video, chat assigning or whenever a conversation is closed, a customer custom field is updated. For example, in double tick directly an agent has assigned the customer's email ID. You would want to pass this data via webhook to your system and update the email ID. Accordingly, depending upon different events, you can add multiple webhooks, which would basically keep on updating data onto your own CRM. In case you would want to read more about webhooks, you can also access it from double tick double developer API or by going on to the website doubletick.readme.io. Once you open the website, on the left hand side panel, under webhook section, you will be able to find how to add a webhook to double tick and the different different payload structure, messaging structure, context, contact and name related fields, their types and other details. I hope this helps you as a developer to integrate double tick deeply with your own system or ecosystem of products to stay updated in real time. Thank you for watching.